Hey everyone, my name is Asta Chauhan. Welcome to the Tutorials Point. In the previous video, we have completed the unsupervised machine learning part with the video of association rule learning. With this video, we are going to head start our reinforcement learning section. And in this particular video, we are going to learn about reinforcement learning itself. So let's see what's in for you in this video. We are going to learn about what is reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning with an analogy, what are the key components of reinforcement learning, and at the end, some concepts of reinforcement learning. First, let's understand what is reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to behave by taking actions in an environment to achieve some goal. In the case of supervised learning, we were providing some labeled data to the model. And in the case of unsupervised learning, we were providing some unlabeled data to the model. But here, in this case of reinforcement learning, we are not providing any labeled or unlabeled data to the model. But we have an agent here that takes some actions in the given environment and learn based on the rewards or penalties. We have also discussed this example in first video of our playlist. So let's understand this example again. Let's say we have this agent and we have provided some environment to the agent. Let's say the environment is a room and there are two points in the room, point A and point B. Agent have to move from point A to point B. So let's say for every step that he takes closer to the point B, will reward him plus 20 points and for every step that he takes away from the point B, he will get minus 10 points. So for path 1, let's say he get plus 60 points and for path 2, let's say he get plus 80 points. So for the next time when agent go through the room or the environment, he already knows that the part 2 is more efficient than the path 1. So next time he will follow the steps that he take in the path 2. Now let's understand reinforcement learning more deeply with an analogy. Let's say we have this room and there is a baby child in that room. So there are some candies in the room and flamed candles in the room. So let's say for the first case, this child crawls towards the candy. He reached to the candy and eats that candy. So he got some sweet taste. So he got happy feeling for that sweet taste. So in this case, he is getting some reward as that happy feeling. And let's say for the next case, he crawls down towards the candle and got attracted by the flame of the candle and he tries to hold that flame and got hurt and he starts crying. So in that case, he is getting some penalty. So in future, whenever this child gets some candies, he will eat that. And if he sees some flame candles, he will avoid that. So just like humans learn from trial and error, this reinforcement learning algorithm also learns from trial and error. Now let's discuss some key components of the reinforcement learning. First one is agent. The learner or the decision maker is called the agent. Everything the agent interacts with is called the environment. All the possible moves the agent can take are called actions. A situation the agent finds itself uh, within the environment is called the state or state of that agent. A feedback signal. After each action, the agent receives as a reward or penalty, which is a numerical score to learn what is good and bad, is called reward. Now next is policy. Policy is a strategy that the agent employs to determine its next action based on the current state. After that is value function. It estimates what the total amount of reward an agent can expect to accumulate over the future, starting from a specific state. Next is action value. Action value is similar to value except it takes extra parameter that is the current action. Now here is a quiz for you all and the question is how does a reinforcement learning agent receive feedback from its environment and options are through a labeled data set provided at the beginning of training, 
by comparing its action to those of pre-trained model through rewards or penalties after each action and last option is via explicit instructions from a human supervisor. I hope you all know the answer of this question as we have discussed about this just before. So write down your answers in the comment section. Now let's discuss some concepts of reinforcement learning. First one is reward maximization. It states that a reinforcement learning agent must be trained in such a way that he takes the best action so that the reward is maximum. That means this agent will take some actions in this environment in order to maximize his rewards. That means the more will be the rewards, the more will be the path efficiency. Next concept is exploitation. Exploitation is about using the already non-exploited information to heighten the rewards. That means this agent will take actions in this environment only based on the information that he already knows. On the other hand, another concept is exploration. Exploration is about exploring and capturing more information about the environment. That means in this case, agent will take actions in the environment in order to get more information, to find all the possibilities to get more rewards. And after that, he will decide what is the most efficient path. So let's say for the path 1, he gets some plus 60 points and for path 2, he gets some plus 80 points. If we talk about the exploitation case, so for the part 3, he may take the part 2 as he know only two parts, part 1 and part 2. But in the case of exploration, he will find out new possibilities to maximize his reward. So let's say he find out all the possibilities and he found out a new path that is part 3 in which he is getting some plus 100 points or plus 100 rewards. That's how exploration concept works. So that was it for this video. We have already covered the supervised machine learning algorithm part and unsupervised machine learning algorithm part. And with this video, we have started reinforcement learning algorithm part in which we are going to cover queue learning, deep queue networks, policy gradient. So stay tuned with tutorials point. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.